hello and welcome in this video tutorial i am going to create a build pipeline for a dotnet project and push a new nuget package to the package manager store so any applications in my organization can use the nuget package or else you can push the package as public in order to anyone to use it at first let's explore the dotnet project that is open in my visual studio ide you can see i have 17 class library projects in my dotnet core solution i have used dotnet 6 to do this development let's try to create our build pipeline for this project click on pipelines uh, so let's cl click on new pipeline and uh, i will stick into the classic editor instead of going for yaml to create this simple pipeline so here you have to provide where your source code is available i will go for azure repos kit select the repository and the default branch for the builds and let's click on continue so you have variety of templates to create your build pipeline i will select asp.net core as the template since we have dotnet 6 class library projects to build uh, let's select the dotnet core template you can see your build pipeline is created uh, let's create the agent pool uh, so you can select azure pipelines when you are using azure cloud Ed edition in in the agent pool and we have to provide the agent specification uh, operating system that you want to run your pipeline you can select default agent pool as well in here when you are using on-prem Azure DevOps environment. So you can keep the other values as default. So let's go to get sources section. You have the project source, repository and branch is selected. Let's provide clean value as true to clean the working directory of your build agent before the build is run. All the other things will keep as default. So let's move to the first task of the uh, pipeline. So restore, you can see the task version, display name. Uh, so you can provide a display name if you want. So let's move to the build task, keep the same values as default. When I'm done building my class library DLLs, I want them to change the assembly version as per the build number of the pipeline. So then you will be able to see a proper version available once the NuGet package releases. In order to do that, I will try to add a new task. So I have to say assembly. So you can uh, select assembly info.net core. So you have to move this task to the first task. Uh, so, so you have to get the assembly info uh, information once the project is built. So in here you have, can go to the insert attributes and you have to uh, insert this build number and attribute uh, for the assembly version, this one and the assembly file version and package version so here we uh, in the options you have to provide a build number format so the uh, the, the better build number format we can uh, say something like this so we can start the major number as from one and the year and the day of the year and the revision number something like this okay so let's move to the tasks here uh so in the build task uh, we will it, it's going to uh, build all of your cs project files so since we don't have any test projects we can remove this one and since we don't have any web applications or web projects to publish we can remove publish task as well so after restoring and building the class library projects let's try to start creating the nuget package and upload it to the nuget package manager store so we have to run the nuget pack command so i will search for nuget and add to here so this should be pack command 
so this is going to package all the class libraries into a one place into a one project if you check this uh, the visual studio project i have created so i have a student management core project that has all the referen all the references to the class library projects in the solution so this file this project file will provide the entry, entry point to access all the class library projects in the solution so in here uh, in here so let's try to uh, provide the path to the project uh, where that nuget pack commands needs to run so that should be this core cs proj so after packaging these class libraries we have to push it to the nuget package management store so we have to select the push command so i will say nuget add and this should be push command so we are trying to push the nuget package uh, to, to our organization so let's try to create a nuget feed in the organizational level or else you can push the nuget package to an external server as well so let's move to the artifacts here so here let's click on create feed and we have to provide a name so we have different scopes to select if you select project uh, it will be available only for the project if you select organization it will be available for all the devops projects in the organization uh, so since we have selected a public devops project your nuget feed will be available to public but it will be usable only within the organization okay so we have created the nuget feed and in nuget push we have to select that one so this one so after uh, creating the build pipeline to release a nuget package so uh, we have you have several options to do that you can add nuget pack and push commands in a release pipeline as well without adding them in the build pipeline so that's what we have done in the demo you can ask release pipeline to deploy the new version of the nuget package once the class library project is built so let's save and queue this pipeline in the nuket push command so you can see this uh, error so that's 403 forbidden message so that build pipeline doesn't have the required permission to push a new nuget package so let's see how to resolve it so let's go to the nuget feed so we have to click on this feed settings so we have something some problems in the permissions so let's go to permissions uh, so in here we have to uh, add users or groups who has permissions for this nuget package so let's try to add our uh, project build service as a contributor to this nuget feed so here you have to select the build service and we'll say that this is a contributor and click on save and let's try to run the pipeline again so this build pipeline has been um, run successfully with this uh, version numbers as we have uh, configured in the options so if we move to the uh, the nuget feed we can see uh, that has been created with the version number the same as the build number so you can find uh, multiple versions in here if you have run uh, different build pipelines so we have uh, created our pipeline and pushed the latest version of the nuket package to the feed so that's all about the video thank you very much